Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4 and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Zeta gun, uh, the difficult way, I guess. I'll explain the other ways that you can get it, uh, but this is the more difficult way to acquire it. Uh, I'll explain the easier ways as well as how to kill Lorenzo in the non-conventional way uh, as well. Um, and uh, it's during the, uh, let me see if I can get, yeah, I can get this open real quick. Uh, it's during the Secret of the Cabot House quest and obviously you start and finish this quest here at the Cabot House. Uh, and so that's about all I need to tell you about that. Here's the airport. Uh, just try to give you guys an idea of where we are. Um, but I, there's a lot of dialogue. I'll read it roll and I'll I'll go ahead and try to explain most of the stuff that I'm going to be doing in this video. Why did you release Lorenzo? I'm sorry I let him go. That was a mistake. It's a little late for that epiphany. I'm sure Lorenzo's on his way to kill us all right now. We could use her help, Jack. You did kind of drop her in the middle of that whole Lorenzo situation without much context. Convince me that I should still trust you. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I can see why you like her, Edward. She has such a way with words. Okay, and now Lorenzo is going to walk up on the balcony. What you're going to want to do is head up those stairs that you can see right in front of me, the only set of stairs. You're going to want to head up there with him. Um, and uh, let the dialogue roll, and I'll pause it again uh, to explain what I'm going to be doing after that. Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Stuff in Why here so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent! I would never. You have all betrayed me kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Okay, at this point he's going to turn into an enemy. What you're going to want to do is force him back into the room to my left. You're going to want to force him back there, um, and I'll show you what goes on after that. So he's going to blow up here. It means absolutely nothing. Just go ahead and back off a little. You want to... It, it's not a guarantee. Sometimes he'll just go running up there, which is what you want to do. You want to have him do. You don't want him to get into this corner. Get out of this corner, dude. Yeah, we can sit here and melee each other all day. I just need you to get in the room. Sometimes he does it flawlessly. He'll just walk. He'll just go immediately back there. But sometimes he wants to be annoying and hang out out here. Here we go. And... The start of pushing him back, you kind of just have to tank some damage, really, just tank it from him. But you want to force him this way. Come on. You want to close these, because you want to keep everybody alive. Okay, I'm going to pop a medic, I think I have one on me. Okay. What you want to do is keep forcing him towards these set of stairs back here. Eventually, he will head up the stairs. You can just melee him, whatever. You can fight him right here. Um, but this is the much easier method, and sometimes he'll just go straight running up there, which is what you want. Um, but here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get up here, he's gonna open this door, keep going. What are you doing? I've never seen him stop there before. I tested this to make sure that this was like, I didn't just get lucky, which I did the first time, because he did just, everybody needs to stay out of this. Okay, so you get him in this corner. And he literally will not leave the corner. Nothing nothing you do or nothing anybody else does makes him leave. And what you can do also, close the door. He won't he, he won't do anything. Literally, he won't do anything. Other people will, but these two I don't think can die. Okay. He'll just keep blasting them back. You have to actually go and get the door. Jack can't die, so don't really worry about him. And it probably would be helpful if you had your critical meter filled up. But you, what you want to do... What I found, it's not like the greatest the greatest choice, but you just really need to just wail on him. There are certain points where he takes damage, and there are certain points where he does not take damage. Uh, but good luck trying to get that perfectly when he's taking damage opposed to not. Just literally wail on him, and eventually you'll be able to do damage. It's literally just pretty much about damage. Eventually you just duel enough, and his health will start dropping extremely fast. Like right there. Right there, you can see it just all of a sudden started dropping fast, and he's dead. But he is one beefy, one beefy mofo. So what you're going to want to do is you got to get hidden from him 
It's kind of hard. You can do it sometimes right on this corner. Oh. I told you what would happen if Lorenzo got free. Don't forget, I didn't have to come back here to help you. That's true. And things could have turned out much worse than they did. At least nobody died. A small miracle, really. I only wish I'd been able to find some way to cure my father before it came to this. I still believe that with a little more time, I might have found some way to remove the artifact. But it doesn't matter now. What now? I need to bury my father and clean up this mess. I won't be back to Parsons again. Before you go, you did make the right choice in the end. So I feel I owe you something for your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. You don't need me anymore. No. Without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Saving your family has got to be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Okay, so we still need to pickpocket him. Okay, so you're going to get in here. You've got to... If I fail this, I'm just going to be annoyed, so annoyed. So, literally just pickpocket him. There is the Zeta gun. Now, the easier ways to actually acquire this gun is help Lorenzo just kill his whole family. Then it will just be on uh, Jack's body. Or... You can you can just steal it early on in the quest. If you just come to the cabbage house, it will be laying on. I'll show you where it's laying, but it's just laying on a desk. You can just steal it. Um, and then the other option, um, I believe he will give it to you as a reward if you just kill his father. If not, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done it, but I, that's what I assume is if you just help him kill his father at the very first chance, the easy chance to kill his father. I'm assuming he probably just gives it to you, but this is the much more fun way. You get to kill. A super beefy enemy um and so that's kind of the the ways that you can get this but go ahead and take that i'm not going to mess with stealing anything else from because i'm in a video i don't want to get caught okay and so it will be sitting right here literally right here on the desk it is impossible to miss if you look at it it is literally impossible to miss um you can come over here and loot his body he does have this marksman's heart and piercing automatic assault rifle this chest will be stealing at all other points, but once you complete the quest, it is no longer stealing. So you can go ahead and take all of his different stuff off of him. I wish you could get that, the thing he has on his head, dude. I want that. Um, but he does, t if you did not, if you weren't paying attention or whatever, Cabot did say uh, you can um, come back in a couple uh, weeks and see what he, uh, if he has something for you as a reward. I will head back here. If it's something important, I will show you guys. Um, but you can also go ahead and loot all of these places now. You can go ahead and uh, hack that terminal, which I will do in this video in just a second. But you've got all of this different stuff over here. Um, there's not anything too important in this house other than the weapon, obviously. Uh, but you can go ahead and we'll hack this terminal real quick. Actually gotten pretty good at these. I used to just guess, which I would say is the less time-consuming way. I would argue that it's probably the better way is just to guess. <laughs> Because usually you get lucky. At least I always did. I used to always get so lucky in other Fallout. So this one I've actually played it the correct way to hack terminals, I guess. It's the way to put it. Uh, let's see here. Opportunity. I think, yeah, I only have two options left. Real. Okay. So this is just a bunch of diary entries. I'm not going to do all that, but you guys can come up here and look at that. Um, but that's a pretty... that The terminals aren't too hard. Just do it. Just... Just don't be lazy, and they're extremely easy. But that's going to do it for the for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed um, the Theta gun. I guess we could go see about modding it out. Um, I wish there was something in this house, because now we got to sit through loading screens. Uh, but we can go see about modding it out. Um, I'm assuming maybe some of you would like to see that. Uh, maybe if you don't have this gun, or, you know, I kind of like to see that type of stuff um, when I'm watching a video i like to see kind of the mods for it so i guess i'll show you guys we do have to sit through two loading screens that seem like they take forever um but at least you can mess around with these character and item models in the loading screen it makes it go by just such a what's going on outside my house 
Sounds like I'm about to get bombed. I don't know what the heck is going on outside my house. I hear, like, air... They don't even sound like normal airplanes. They sound like jets. I don't know if you guys could hear that. That was... That was kind of crazy. That was kind of really crazy. All right, game. We can load any time now. Any time now. Dude, this loading screen... This, this loading screen, though... Sweet mother, dude. <laughs> this is like a two. What the heck? This is like this is this is straight some Witcher loading screens right there. Holy, holy moly! We're gonna head the castle because I need to delete stuff at at my base because now it started. I think I put a little too much there, so it is a little laggy now. Um, I think I can. Uh, I think I can get it down. Uh, to not being laggy, but, uh, hopefully, I don't know, there's, like, a part of me that's, like, I'm not gonna get it to stop lagging now, because that's just how it works. This gun is so sweet looking when you look at it like this. I need to start using, um, some different, some different junk, um, other than these same, like, I, like, I started using the Deliverer now, which is, which was a good idea, um, and so, I don't know. I just need to... I need to diversify my weapon choices. Needed to diversify them, I think. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and head over here. I've got all these people just not doing anything here. I have the max, like, settlement here. I've got, like, 31 people at the castle. But, that, like, nothing for them to do. Okay, so let's take a look real quick here. Where is it? Zeta gun. So we've got nothing for the barrel. We can get the sharpshooter's grip. Why not? And for the muzzle... We got electric signal carrier antenna. Hold fire to charge additional elect. Okay, we're doing that. I think I'm doing. I'm doing that. Electric signal carrier antenna. So not too many mods for it. You. Oh, I don't know why this. Okay, standard dish, deep dish, and Zeta wave barrel. Um, I don't know what the Zeta wave barrel. Uh, that must be what's on it. Uh, better range and damage for for the deep dish and standard dish. So we want the deep dish. We want that deep dish. Uh, because I don't know what this does. Weapon damage into Zeta Wave Radiation? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Maybe we'll keep that on. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.